Okay, so uh, we've got our buddy Steve from Wireworks coming. So I got to get the dash out. And we got to change the door pin. So I'm thinking this morning I'll pop the doors off. I'll strip the carpet out, maybe give it a vacuum, uh, drop the steering column, and then we'll take out the dash and gauges. And this is just on your simple paint job, right? Simple paint job, yeah. yep. Quick, yeah, okay. simple, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, paint job. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, yeah, we're just gonna pop these doors off. First thing you wanna do is roll these windows down so we don't break them because this is gonna be a quick paint job as we have almost no time to get this done before we're leaving. We're gonna keep the glass in. It just saves probably a day of time. So we gotta pop the door off. You gotta get these bolts. You gotta get those bolts. And Chevelle doors are notoriously heavy. So you have to be careful. Yeah, we're going to replace the pins as well on this one. They're getting a little sloppy. Oh, of course, wrong size. Dodge is nine, Chevy's half. Here. Want to just hold this while I grab this last one? Okay, it should be free. Today, let's hold it. Hang on. Let's see. Two, one, zero. Only. Okay, you got her. And where did you set up a stand? Oh, proper planning precludes this poor performance. Let me go grab a stand here because later there I'll get the hands off. It's just not going to flop. Okay, one down, one to go. Well, there'll be three of us because they might even let me touch the sandpaper as long as it's not too critical. <laughs> or I can just pass some stuff. <laughs> you want to use that? <laughs> yeah, I'm in a good a little tight there. Yeah, I'm in a good Hey, when you're in the last bowl. Love those cars. Okay, okay, last okay yeah, 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 last one. Le dernier monsieur, as we say au français, the last one. Qu'est-ce que dit le pape de what? <laughs> okay, you got it, okay. Now we got two stands, put it up on it, the windows are rolled down, we're safe. One, two, three, two, four, six. Where's those baggies? Okay, we'll see you next week. Be safe, ciao. Okay, bye. Okay. Um, I'm just going to strip out the carpets and we're going to drop the steering column and, and oops, um, yes, anyway. Larry, you want this? It's not out yet. What the hell's going on? Should be out. Okay. That one's out. <coughs> this one's almost out. Okay. Oh, these ones are knurled. No. Oh! The knurled ones go in the top. Yeah, yes, that's how it worked on that one too. Yeah, but we didn't put one in there. We didn't put the knurled yeah, ones in. we did. No, we only put these two yes, in. Yes, remember we had to hammer the last bit in? That's because the top was... Oh, the right. Oh, okay, but this is like brass. Oh, no, it's, no, not, it's not brass. It's just a mark. Oh, it's just a mark. You're such a smart... Are you... I think you're underpaid and overworked, Blair. Absolutely. <laughs> Strongly agree. <laughs> I'll just see. This one might just pound down here.
показать спиндоры. Okay, well, I'm just going to wait and see when the new pins come before I put these ones in Blair. Okay, anyways. Okay, we got that, we got that. Go pound this out. And the vise. Oh, we don't have a vise because we took the bench out. scratch the paint. Okay, Blair, we got a couple touch-ups to do on the Mustang. <laughs> Who lost this thing? Like, how do you lose the handle for the vise? Like, how do they do that? Like, Milwaukee lights in there. underneath the dash. See, here's one. Hanging. Hanging out with the light. Oh, where does the wiring come through here? Oh, this could be a pain in the ass. Whose idea was it to change the wiring? <laughs> My fearless leader. Yes, okay. Right, it was pretty sketchy going to Vegas. 
If he'd have got pulled over, they probably would have impounded the car. <laughs> anyway. Oh, the screwdriver's caught it. Medium, small. Okay. Okay, where's the baggie? I just had a baggie. Nice baggie. This is the last baggie. This is the last baggie. Oh, I'm going to impale myself on those sooner or later, guaranteed. Okay, these gauges got to come out. And so it begins. Oh, should I hook the battery because it's going to go dead? Where are these gauges mounted? or so. Hang on. Uh, I need my quarter inch drop set. Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes I wish I wasn't six foot four. Two different sizes. Oh, of course there is. You can suck it up for that. He's a pretty easy going guy. Okay. So I would say mission accomplished. Okay, we'll just leave these I'm hanging. We'll just leave these hanging. Okay, well, I'd rather not take the whole thing out. <laughs> I gotta put it back in. Yeah, but we like the B bodies. Come yeah. The yeah, the B bodies. Yeah. Well, once the well, you still have to have the window out though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The window's out, then you can get all those screws, but yeah, but a couple bolts each side. Okay, so we're going to go with that, and then we'll wait till Steve calls us. Okay. Okay. And make sure you're telling the seats are up. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll leave that carpet in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me get a thing here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Walmart pool floaties. Let me get some more. Okay, boy, where's the box with the hood hinges? In front of the Mustang. Okay. They're better than the ones we got. Okay. You got to drill holes in them? I don't know. We're going to find out when we take this hood off. Okay, should be taking the front one off. All right, you want to come in? Just give me a hand for a sec here.
in the hinge. Oh, that's so good. That side. piece Blair. That's right because we never had one. Let me phone those guys. Uh, dust shield. Uh, yeah what do you call it? Cowl screen. Cowl screen. Ooh. Your knowledge of muscle car parts is awe inspiring. A cowl screen. Okay let's try hot rods and classics. Bob Mike here from Ross Brothers. Hey, do they make the cowl screen for 68 Chevelle? You know, the plastic piece that uh, goes above the windshield wipers in front of the windshield. The little mesh thing. Anyway, just wondering. They do? I'd like one. Thank you. Okay. We need more baggies. We're out of baggies. No, I forgot. Uh, where am I going to put these? Well, uh, what should be door handles? So I got some big ones. Mike, there's getting cluttered again. Mike, there's a bag full of nuts and bolts underneath the car. What's that? I don't know. It did. Recycling. Oh, I don't have to put those away because I'm going to be using them. Later. Okay. Now I'm going to put the wrench. I need an extension. Critiquing my original <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, they've served their purpose. How about this? They're highly experienced. They are pretty well wibbly, aren't they? Blair? Are the new ones. So do we. Remember, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> okay, let's see if the holes at the top are the same. Remember, he was, uh, Ted was saying, sometimes you have to re-drill them. They're off by Beautiful. now. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Close enough, okay. These are all the same. Uh, yep. Yeah. Wow, I like these. 
Okay, well that's this side. I'll take it back on. Oh, you should probably paint it. Well, are we just going to see if it fits? Is it coming off again or not? As you wish. Well, I'm just asking. Well, okay. Just, I mean, just... It to... wouldn't have to come off again. No? Well, we're not painting inners. No, we're well, so we're we right now. Well, we gotta just scuff it. With the hood off, should we paint the engine bay? No, Maybe. let's not. And say we did. Well, here, look. Shiny. It is. That's yeah, good. Look, shiny. It's good. Okay. Okay. It's all nice. Ooh. Yeah. Look Thanks to those guys at Preston for getting it. You <laughs> betcha. Okay. Okay, so you're good. I'll get you. I got this anti fumes in here. So should we paint these now? Well, we'll let you see if they fit first before well, we. Okay. Well, Send them back. Well, I'm hoping. Guys, don't send back. No, I never send anything back. That's why I have sea cats fully. They never use it. I never sent back. Yeah, well, why don't we set them up, adjust them, and then we'll then we'll take them off and paint them. No, no. What are you so we're gonna put the hinges on, line up it with the hood. Do well, all that freaking work and then take it all freaking apart well, again. Well, we're taking everything. the fenders off of no, it anyway. There's no room. Something's got to go. Well, we don't have to take them off, right? Well, we can pop the header panel up. We can add to either end of the header panel. Yeah. And then we're going to adjust this fender um, out, right? But we've got to put the door on first and line it up. Okay, the scuff them and paint them. I'll let you. <laughs> there you go. Talk me right into it, Blair. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Scuff them and paint them. Okay, well maybe I'll just laugh and them. Well, you're just going to get them all full of goop, but yeah, you should do something. Well, that's probably, easier than sanding. Yeah, well, they're, they're probably they're covered with oil. Exactly. Here, I'll go do it then. Here, you keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. In my car. I shouldn't download all this good stuff on you. <laughs> wow! I, we couldn't just get, no, they're covered in oil. Yeah. They won't stick. We're doing the feed loss. Okay, yeah. What do you need for bead blasting this the best there? I'll just put a new visor on it so maybe I can even see what I'm doing. Easy to just go by feel in the bead blast cabinet. So short, I don't know if you make them a oh. they could be longer. I'm just gonna pull them through. I don't know what. I just broke it. Are you kidding me? Well, that didn't work well. Okay. Good thing you got spares. I know. Are these the same? Where? It's almost like these ones are thicker, but I broke one already. Well. You wore them out. I mean, they worn out, so they would be thicker. Yeah, but they won't go in the hole here. Well, sometimes we throw them with channel locks just to get them set. The ball pin hammer isn't a great choice because it has a rounded face, right? So I used the handle of the ball pin, the wooden one. Oh, right. That's right. Right, and then. Okay, I'll hold it. Grab the other hammer and see if we can't get it in here. We're running out of options. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
go, I can't see. Such a consummate craftsman, but I broke the other thick one that pisses me off. Because these ones are thinner. They're the same though. Same. Well, I think we have some. Well, they're, I mean, I think they're the same size. Right? They're the, uh, let's see if it goes in the hole. Hopefully it doesn't just fall in. No, no, no. The inside's got to go up a bit. Or... Mm. So nice. Okay, where's the... It's right there on the rug. Oh. I think that's right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, that bounces off there, right? Okay, let's pound it in. And... Oh, it feels tighter. Which one? Okay, let's try the new one. Let's just see. Wow, now that's tight. Why is that? Why well, is this side tight and the other one isn't blur? Because those That's, were the... Is that the new pin? Yeah, the one here. Try tapping it in. Where's that dolly? Well, first, just let me get her started. Take you broke it. it. No? What? Oh. You didn't break it. You did break it? No. Yeah, I broke in half. <laughs> no, you didn't. Didn't get my shield out. Yeah. Shouldn't be that much of a hassle. I mean, you'd think the pins would fit tight in the bushing. This one rocked in okay. and out, right? Okay. okay. Well, that's all we're doing. Okay. <sighs> Aftermarket parts. I wonder if there's a stash of GM pins somewhere. I would. I drive to GM and I buy a bunch of bushings from them. Do you? Yeah. So, at this point, you can put the doors back on, right? Yeah. And then we line them up, move the latches. Are we going to pop this fender out and bend that pin first? Well, we got it here. Oh, Actually, it's, it's easy to get out of sure. it anyway. Or are those hood hinges dry? I'll check it. Let me pop this one off. 
So we're going to fix the brake line too. Okay, he says he needs the dot pad out and the gauge is hanging and everything's stripped off. Well, that's all you get. You got to get the gauges out. And then you got to take the dash pad out. What Ted said too. I've done it before. But I'm going to drop the steering column first and then we'll see what's going on. Uh, no? Oh. Okay. I, I misunderstood that. But you know what part of the problem was? This back hinge wasn't tight. You remember how we always had to push it down on this corner? That could have been the issue. <laughs>time we've ever seen these paper papers for the next few weeks. Yeah. Well, 
I need the one because we can't get across the border without the one. Kind of important. Shouldn't have pushed the button. Why did I push that button? So, okay, it's out. this it's a VIN off a car <laughs> no idea five D it's got to be a Canadian car it's a weird VIN number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, anyway. Okay. Because mine starts 13837. Looks like a Chevy VIN, though. Anyway, I don't know what it's for. I'll file it away under L for later. Ooh. for a cup holder. <laughs> Actually, if you cut holes out, it'd probably work like a hot dam. But if you're driving, it's not the best. might have been because we beat you beat on the hinge so bad it won't line up anymore no oh. never <laughs> I, I mean bet. I can't even like the hole is way out of line I bet I you the hole is low get my freaking hand in here and I can't well, well did you see if the hinge moved I got one bolt down do you want me to do that Blair no are you sure I'm in there it's just don't cross thread it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know they say ain't hey, nothing better than a tight hole, eh, Blair? That's two out of three. Isn't this for the family channel this episode? <laughs> okay, I rock. <laughs> oh, if you say so yourself. Okay, here. Okay, well, snug, snug one up while I'm holding the tension on it. You know, you're getting old and weak. And you... <laughs> Just like the coffee you make. Yeah. Okay. What the hell? I freaking hate these things. Yeah. I know, it's better if you just flip them around, right? You know what and I mean? Then I scratch the paint with the adjuster. Yeah. The directional indicator. Yes. This side is snug. Oh yeah. On the other side I got the bolts in. Okay, let me get four more bolts from the hinge. And then you can put the hood on and then you can touch everything. And you lash it. And you get shine bolt. They didn't have these in the, in the front end bolt kit, Blair? I guess they're different. No, not the back. Oh, 
Whoa! Honey, you want to go outside? <laughs> you want to go outside, honey? Warm. Where's honey? These little legs sticking out. Where she tries to catch snow. That's exactly what Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Like a flattener, like a friggin'. Yeah. You'd be a gut sandwich. A gut. Been run over by two snow plows. Really? Yeah, she's gonna get snow from off the bed. Jesus. Well, you know what they say about brains and trains? You have to get out of the way, Alice. Why don't you solve the hazard here before somebody has <laughs> a face plan, namely me? Okay. <laughs> Two for you. Got a 960th ratchet over there. Uh, well, I just have it. Right here. Wow. Organized. Uh, yeah. It's very impressive. I learned so much. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, good job. Oh, yeah. An envelope for the opening. Hang on, bro. I gotta get Catherine one too. PCAA. I need one. Okay, I'll do it. Honey. Okay, do it on the car. Yeah. Actually, she's just flipping over how many. How hard is it? There's a few of them you should do it here. Yeah. Oh, it's an old hood. It is. It's beautiful, man. For sure. Wow. I don't know how you'd tell. Um, Must be a GM stamp somewhere. Chris, but I wouldn't want to insinuate that it wasn't an original SS. Well, well no, it's an original SS by the VIN number. 13837. 68 was the only year. See, if you look here, Alex. And you look right here, it says 68-13837. 68 was the only year when the SS 396 had its own body number. And then you look there, 13837. So that's how, it's the only year you can tell just by looking at the VIN and the fender tag if it was an SS 396. Oh, okay. But one year only, so they all match. 13837, 13837. Okay, what do we need? We need a 38 D. These are even original movers. Maybe I did buy a new hood. Blair, you gotta, hang on. You grab this, where's the quarter inch draw? Are you using it? Is it over there, quarter inch rack? Yellow one, yeah, give me that. And not these. You know, my Beaumont, the serial number on the motor matched, matched the serial number on the car. Yeah, yeah. Now they're just, they're not really Designation of what it was. All of these ones do too if they're still, still original, but it just, this was the only year like that you can tell that it was an SS396 just, just by the bin. Oh. None of the other years you could tell. You had to run it through GM Canada and get the build sheet and all the rest of the stuff, right? Of course, it'll be the one I don't have. Not yeah, the one I don't have. These are original louvers, you can tell by how crappy they look. <laughs> yeah. Now they got broken tit tits. And <laughs> And there's even a GM part number on them. <laughs> yeah, actually, Blair, I don't know if this was an original hood or not. All I know is the one that came on the car, so who knows? Probably isn't the original hood, or it should be, mind you. 
I don't know if they painted it with the hood on it. I don't know. I think they were blocked out. Hard to see. It's been a while. How did I lose two already? What? Oh, just enjoying myself. How did I lose two of these? I couldn't have. I think two of them were already not on it. Okay, maybe. We'll get some more. They make them. They make these little speed nuts, eh, Blair? Yeah, we got a bunch somewhere. Okay. Okay, we're ready for you, buddy. Oh, I just moved the goop. Yeah, I just need that. Okay, you got the ratchet. By looking at the inside of the car, I would never guess it belonged to the outside of this one. What do you mean? Well, the inside's just beautiful. The Is floor, it? everything's nice. I think we, I think we, I'm sure Ted put in a new floor. Well, maybe this is really fancy stuff. No. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Car solid, man. Like I said, it's in good shape. Okay. Okay. What are we doing here? You're going to the far side to be standing up. Okay. Okay. Standing up. I'm going to the far side. Okay. I'm just like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got to go in and then you think it's probably got to get pulled out. Okay, let me get one here. Okay, I'll let you get Lined up right here. As usual, we always start with the back bolt. I know, well, I'm just looking at the front one. And I'm not lined up to anything. Okay, let's give me a back bolt. Oh. No, it doesn't want to line up with the back bolt. I have room. Here, give me that ratchet for just a sec, Blair. I just thought maybe they were 516. No. Hey, hey, hey. Hang on, hang on. Okay, where's the other hole? You need me to lower my side down or up? No, no. Your side up. Where's the hole? Okay, right there. Okay, not happening. Oh. Hold it. Okay, I got it. Okay. The hole is in the wrong place, Blair. Yeah, just it's got to go over. Like side to side, it's in the side wrong place. to side, it's in the wrong place. Uh, hang on. Okay, well, try yours. Okay, let's see if we can wiggle it after. I just have to do a little bit of dye grind. The top one fits and the bottom one won't. Well, and the holes are too narrow to dick around with it all. Yeah, yeah so you got to take out your bolt. We got a diagram towards the center to make it wider. Is yours yeah. the same? Yeah. Okay, do we need to make it longer? I don't think so. No. We're just going to make them wider. So maybe this is a 68 hood and these are Well, no, the, they were longer. Longer? Yeah. Well, Ted thought they were longer, but... Could have just been narrower. Oh, to the inside. And the front one's to the outside. The front one's fit. No, oh, mine's tight. Chance to use a new carbide. Ah, okay, hold it. 
fall out and then screw down. Okay, I'm just gonna go put the bottom on now. Yeah. Not that I just some days I just stay in bed. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll grab my car back. Now yeah, look. Boy, this one comes in this way. This one fits straight. Yeah, so this has to go to the outside at the back. Or sorry, to the inside at the back. Yeah. And this has to go to the outside at the front. Well mine fit at the front. Perfect. Well, yeah, but it's Well just well I'll just grind this one at the back first and we'll try it again, because I mean mine fit. Why would you do that? Because yours will fit too. We don't need much, we need about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, well why would you go just to the limit? Give yourself some room. Well, because then the hood's gonna flop around. I mean, you've already got lots of wiggle room, and you don't need any more at the front, you just need it at the back to get the bolt in, no? I don't know, I like keeping things as tight as possible. Find your die grinder, what'd you do with it? Oh sh just lost that bolt, it's down in the fender. Golly gee whizzikers! <laughs> Shut up. What the f are you laughing at? Hi, oh, yeah, it's in here somewhere. I'm never to be seen again. What's that noise? What's the. Let me get another one. Oh, man. Something in my brain. 